Hello once again everyone and welcome to the sanctuary. Once again we're playing Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn as a bit of a trip down memory lane. So, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, alongside me for the ride are Lord Firax and Corlash, who thought they were here for different reasons, but due to technical difficulties, they're, they're now here for some contrived reason. Yep. Um, just as a reminder to those of you who are watching the highlight on YouTube, this is a re-recording due to my forgetting the highlights. Um, as such, it's, there's a little bit of a difference here, but not too, too much. That'll be, that'll be too significant. Um, I just want to grab a couple of things or edit a couple of things, a decent this. And equip my plundered battle axe. And then take off the warrior crystal and there. Um, anyways, talking about speaking of the rules that are going to look different in the next episode. But the rules are that I'm doing this on my main character, Chris Valentine, under New Game Plus. I'm doing this as Meteor's job in the promotional art. So... I am doing it as Marauder for the first 30 levels, Warrior for the rest. I am doing most, if not all of my instances through duty support with the exception of normal raids, which I will probably do solo if I'm story running them um, and Alliance raids, which I will have to do in public and dungeons that do not support it, in which case I will not be doing those dungeons. And finally, I am doing all of these with quest level or patch item level appropriate gear. So with that being said, let's move on to our side by side, which I did not open beforehand. So stupid me. All right, so episode six. window and move it here. So where we left off, we had finally finished the Sestasha Sea Grot. Um, and Bodoron had more work for us to do, which So we're going to, there we go, talk to Bataran and complete Call of the Forest. Hey there, about that job then. Like I said, the request comes from our sister guild in Gradania. And that's all I know. But whatever it is you get asked to do, I somehow doubt it'd pose any trouble for a venture who has survived the Bedlam in Sestasha. If you might think, if you think you might be interested, I want to have words with Mother Mion, the counterpart in Gridania. Good luck, mate. All right, off to Gridania. Normally, I would just, you know, take the uh, airship, but running all the way back there for two loading screens is not my idea of fun. We're going to expedite the traveling time. Take a seat wherever you like, friend. Our waitress will come to take your... Oh, not here to dine. Do I hope that you're the adventurer Bardaron sent the word about? You are? Matron be praised. Just a quick side note and a reminder. Dialogue changes if you started in Gridania, as you can see from our window view. Let us continue. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mune, and the car line canopy is my place. With regard to the task in question, there is a fair bit to tell. Let me know when you are ready to hear the details and I shall brief you. Well, let's get going. 
ready for that briefing. Good. Now then, here's the long and short of it. Beg pardon for interrupting me on... But our need grows ever more pressing. Have none step forward. And good evening to you too, Bow Lord. Your need must be pressing indeed for you to honor us with a visit. The good news is, your journey hasn't been wasted. I'm pleased to report that we have a volunteer at last, and one who comes highly recommended at that. And of course, Lewin's dialogue here also changes. My thanks for answering the call, friend. My name is Lewin, and I lead the men and women of the God's Quiver. Now, time is of the essence, so I shall proceed directly to the heart of the matter. I wish for you to nip a potential threat to Gridania in the bud. Beneath the central shroud, there lies an underground burial site called the Tamtara Deep Crawl. The, the place was once a Gelmoran settlement, but we Gridanians have long interred our dead there. Ooh, new follower. Ra uh, Rashley Bash. Rashley Bastion 6. I hope I'm not butchering that name completely. Um, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the sanctuary. Uh, let us continue on our journey. Of late, however, shadowy figures have been skulking about the deep croft and with ever increasing regularity. Based on the accounts of various witnesses, we suspect that these individuals belong to the Lambs of Dolomu, a doomsday cult which sprung up prior to the calamity. These zealots have proven themselves dangerous in the past, and we leave them to their own devices on our own peril. Ordinarily, I would have dispatched my best men to scour the deep croft with orders to flush the cultists out. Alas, calamity decimated our ranks, and the limited forces at my disposal are constantly required to keep the Eksel at bay. Birdmen have grown restless of late, and I fear a storm may be brewing. In anticipation of this, I have been compelled to spread our forces throughout the Twelveswood, as we be taken unawares. The situation so being, we must turn to others to deal with the Lambs of Dalamud. Can we rely on you to undertake this task, friend? You have my gratitude. Once you've seen to your preparations, pray, make your way to the Deep Croft, and identify yourself to the guard posted at the entrance. He will apprise you of the latest developments. That is all. Be careful out there, you hear? May the crystal guide you and keep you. Alright, we have to go to Bent Branch. We gotta go this way. I'm also gonna expedite Lady Cassandra's little journey here because I think I had to gear her. Yeah, I had to outfit her with new gear. I miss the days when we had 20 second sprint recall, uh, recast. Yeah. I know, it sounds weird. Yeah, true. I don't miss that, obviously. Anyway. Oh, Chris Valentine, I take it. Thanks for having us out, friend. 
No doubt the Bold Lord has already informed you, but your task is to enter the Deepcroft and purge it of the Lambs of Dalamud. In case you're unfamiliar with them, the cult emerged shortly before the Calamity put an end to the Sixth Astral Era. The cultists took the lesser moon Dalamud for their god, believing that it would deliver them from the devastation. So they were rather disappointed when Dalamud exploded into a thousand flaming pieces before it could complete its descent. Now, having seen their god turn to ash, one would think that the cultists might feel motivated to question their faith. The contrary. It served only to stoke the flames of their fanaticism. The lambs of Dalamud are convinced that heretics, that is to say, everyone but them, interfered with the coming of their lord and savior, and that it's now their sacred duty to avenge him. Whatever it is they're doing in the deep croft, you may be sure that no good will come of it. The sake of Gridania and Eorzea at large put an end to their madness. All right, let's move in. Now, I think Tom Tara also got a visual update. Or maybe I'm wrong again. You know, one thing I don't miss, waiting for the healer to cast Protect. Forgot it. Big dick pull. Oh, fuck you, I'm doing it anyway. Actually, I did a little bit of a. I did like a. So when I say big in early levels, I mean like five or six enemies at this point. But I'm autistic, not brain dead. Yeah, well the NPC can't heal through walls, so. There, there used to be a chest in here with this these croft lights, but seeing as how there's no chest in there anymore, we're just gonna move on by. Of course, back in the day, I ended up going for those 
chest where the crop lights were, but not anymore. at the 86 mark and we're almost done with the first ball. Alright, that takes care of one. Oh yeah, this way. on overpower. I thought it was just single target. Or at least I didn't know it. Yep. Well, yeah, my tank stance is on now. So. That are that Akmina Varlet came the other way. Wait, are you kidding me? That this NPC can heal through walls? What the fuck? That is a clip worthy moment right there. And I don't have a clip button. Well, you're not supposed to, but I guess there's a glitch in there somewhere. me being wrong that was just a glitch at the 82 minute mark and we are 30% through void soul counter number two.
orb done. Two more to go. This healer's working overtime. I wish I could, but it's an NPC. <laughs> I do have Rampart on here. What I don't have is Reprisal. And I don't think I need anything else. Here's my eager conjurer. Oh, bite me and fight me. remaining more than enough time to get this episode done and maybe take a quick rough bio This rosary is now obtained.
at the 75 minute mark. And we are now at the final boss. Whereas past Kruznik is... Still hasn't even gotten the rosary yet. Well, past Kruznik was a lot weaker back then. And the power creep wasn't exactly as heavy. All right, let's take out Gilvent the Dominator. While we're at it, we'll expedite Lady Cassandra's little escapade. By the time we got the time to Galvan back then, if we were hitting the 70 minute mark. In fact, we were just past the 69 minute mark. Almost there. And we did it. Yeah. Let's fast track ourselves to New Gridania. Moon, let's get back to side by side. Welcome back, Chris. I'm reliably informed that your foray into the Deep Croft was a success. Nor did I expect anything less. Bateron's ringing endorsement left me in little doubt as to your capabilities. Even so, you are to be commended. Oh, Lord Lewin asked me to pass on his thanks. I must say it's something of a relief to be able to call upon such a capable adventurer. Sadly, death has become an ever more common occurrence within our fraternity of late. Times being what they are, the guild is constantly inundated with petitions, and we are hard-pressed to find enough hands to deal with them all. While this means no shortage of work for able souls such as yourself, it also provides ample opportunity for the inexperienced to overreach themselves, with predictable consequences. Ah... As if to illustrate the point. Avere's gone, and it's all your fault! 
If it hadn't taken you an age to heal him, he would still be alive. But I tried. He bolted out of range before I could finish the spell. He shouldn't have been so hard pressed in the first place. He should have done more to lighten his burden. Bah! To hell's with this pathetic excuse for a party. I'm leaving. And it'd be too soon if I ever, if I never see your faces again. Goodbye and good riddance. I'm leaving as well. I doubt this comes as any surprise, but I never liked you. I only suffered you for your healing. But you couldn't even do that one thing right. Cruel though this may sound, you brought this upon yourself. Oh, and by way of some parting advice, get rid of a very's head. Bury it, cremate it, do whatever the hell you like with it. But for God's sake, stop carrying it around. It's, it's just, get, just get rid of it, all right? Wait, don't leave me alone. Please. I'm so sorry, Abe. Please forgive me. Scenes like this have become all too common. That makes a dozen times in half as many days. Now you see why I'm grateful for adventures of your experience. I can send men like you on a mission without worrying that you might not return. Well, not so much at any rate. Speaking of missions, I would entrust you with another. About a bell ago, I received a message from my counterpart in Uldar. She seeks the services of a reliable adventurer, and you are nothing if not reliable. If you think you might be interested in this task, say the word, and I will be glad to share the details with you. And with that, we have finally completed and caught up. All right, we are gonna take a quick break and we will be back with more. If you're watching on Twitch, stay tuned, but if you haven't done it yet, hit that follow button and turn on notifications. If you're watching the highlight on YouTube, hit the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe by clicking here and click the bell icon for notifications. Click here to watch more. Click here to watch the full trip down memory lane and click here to watch the next episode when it comes out. See you in a bit.